Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have an article for you guys straight from T-Mobile's newsroom. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys may check it out. So John Fryer presented at the Deutsche Bank Media, Internet, and Telecom Conference. I was able to sit through it and some, some, pretty, some pretty big takeaways and a, and a few, few updates uh, from, uh, from this conference. So one thing that might sound like common sense to you, once T-Mobile gets to 20% share, market share in small market and rural areas, Many analysts have asked, what, what's next? What's the next step in the progression when it comes to T-Mobile and small market and rural areas? Well, today, John Fryer gave, it, gave an answer. He said the next goal is to chase fair share. Now, fair share meaning, and I've disclosed this in a, in a, in a, in a uh, previous video, it's 33%. Each, each of the three mobile network operators would have 33% of share at fair share. Now, that would mean T-Mobile would have to grow another 13% to get to fair share. So he didn't even give a midpoint number of where they might be, and maybe they do that later on. But he just straight up told the analyst, "We're going. the goal is to go for fair share. And I completely agree with that. But it's going to take several years to get the fair share. It took them about a year and a half to grow 4.5%. You know, so I'm thinking at least at least another four to five years to, to, to grow fair share. And that, of course, is going to take more retail distribution, more sites, more coverage, to get the fair share. Of course, they didn't further elaborate on on this on this. I would have asked him several more questions after that fact. As soon as he said, "I'm going for fair share," I would have immediately went after several different questions like, "Hey, can you get to fair share with the network as it stands today? How much more would you have to expand the network to get to fair share? How many more sites may be needed for fair share. You know, I would have asked him several more questions after the fact, but, you know, that didn't end up happening. So, so that's what we got. We got that. We got there. They're going to chase fair share, which, which I'm happy we, we got that. You know, they could have just very well said, oh, our next, our next goal is to get to 25%. And that might be the midpoint to getting to fair share. Who knows? And I think, you know, 25% is a, is a, is a, is still a solid number even though that's not fair share. I still think coming from where T-Mobile comes from, 25% in small market and rural areas is a, is a big number for them. But I think 33% is 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 very doable for the company. They have a great track record. Um the network is expanding each and every day. Trust me on that. It's it's growing. They're adding new sites. Even in areas where you never expected them to add sites, they're adding sites. Like the, the trip that I did to New Mexico, very rural town. I didn't expect T-Mobile to have N41 there. They had N41. I went to Cloudcroft, New Mexico, on the way, very mountainous area. I didn't expect T-Mobile to beat AT&T on coverage. They won. They had a bigger coverage footprint versus AT&T. Now, that's just my experience. Again, at scale, the vast majority of the country, there are still going to be areas where T-Mobile struggles, like on the western side. But they're going to fix that. Now, you know, could that be, are they going to fix that to a, to a certain extent? That's possible because they're still going to be disciplined. They're going to look at the return on investment model and they're not going to, they're not going to go where at and is going because at and is literally getting a reimbursement. They're getting paid to put network. T-Mobile is not getting paid to put their network where there aren't any pops. And that's what at and is doing. And in some cases, T-Mobile is doing that as well. They just won't do it as extensive as what at and is doing. at and is literally getting network 
towers up and running in areas that just aren't, you know, populated. There's nobody there. And that's where AT&T is putting up sites. But they're getting money for this. Nobody's getting that type of treatment besides AT&T. So just wanted to share that with you guys. We'll have several more other videos about some some topics, some discussion points. But just wanted to really pinpoint that going for fair share in rule. I think that's a big next step for the company, something they've never been able to achieve before. But now with the assets, the merger, the higher operations budget, the higher capital allocation budget, they can go and do and achieve fair share and rule. So make sure you guys stay tuned for more. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.